to be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. And sync audio. Hey guys, this is Ekian M, also known as Ekian Media, and I thought I'd break down how I did the uh, John F. Kennedy deep fake. Um, this is gonna be off like the top of my head, so I apologize for not having a script or anything. Anyway, um, I used the tutorial from Hey It's Windy to do the actual deep fake uh, process using a web application that um, created an interface for the deepfake tool. So the link for that will be the first link in the description and then the second link will be the uh, troubleshooting video we made as a follow-up. Because that, that's how I did it. This is my second deepfake. Uh, let's jump right into the project file. This is the actual project file. I started out with the 30 minute address from JFK. It's kind of a baseline. So this is what the original footage looks like uh, pre Rick and Morty. Um, for the audio, there's a YouTube channel called um, Audio Synthesis, and they use another algorithm to generate uh, speech. And so I took that, and the problem was, uh, you know, sync the lip motions up. And to do that, I just. Um, Recorded myself, trying my best to lip sync because, uh, as you can see down here, I did manipulate the audio pretty heavily to at least try to match up with my lip movements. Uh, the the result isn't perfect though, which is unfortunate. But hey, uh, I think I'll get better, hopefully. So after that, I had to convert it to 256 by 250 fig, 256. Uh, resolution because that's what the deepfake program works with and my original plan because I wanted to have a seamless transition between the live action JFK and then the deepfake didn't work but my idea for it was that let's go to uh, this window yeah this will show the screen right here what yeah, okay. So my original plan was it'll go straight from uh, this live video straight to here. So this is the, I freeze framed. And so the idea was I'd take the freeze frame and then the transition to the deep fake would be seamless. But that wasn't the case because the first frame of the deep fake isn't this still image, it's manipulated based on me, so it's, there is no real seamless transition that I know of or that I've figured out yet. So in order to get around that, I just downloaded uh, stock footage of a family watching uh, TV, played that so that the live action, this is actual Kennedy talking right here, would appear to be deepfake. I think his head is a little too big though in this deepfake. So, um, for the layers, this is the still frame. And this is the deepfake layer. I guess I'll go back to effects and this is what the deepfake did. So, tracks the Kennedy face onto my movements. Now the problem was blending it. Because the biggest thing that makes these deep fakes look fake is um, if you look on the screen at his shoulders and his collar, that stuff moves unnaturally. And so my solution to that was to uh, crop. So you can see I've cropped basically as much as I possibly could. I've tried to uh, change the speed of the video to somewhat match up with the dialogue because the deepfake itself actually slows down the recording you send in. So the idea is to uh, take out as much uh, deepfake artifact as possible. This is what we're left with. 
Um, below that is a still image, the still freeze frame that I used to match the head on. As you can see, this doesn't look convincing because it, it just shows like a, a picture of the moving head. So to try to do that again, I have this layer, which is actual video of the address to get the uh, you know, artifacts. If you look, you'll notice on the deepfake face itself, it kind of doesn't, yeah, right here especially, you can see the outline of where it's a layer on top of a layer. But uh, let's see, what blend mode did I use? So uh, this blend mode is set to darken. And if I do that, as you can see, I've got the entire head basically cut out because uh, there's an actual Kennedy underneath that talking and moving his head and saying completely different stuff, as you can see. I do uh, just the masters, the the Kennedy head would pop out behind the deep fake head, and then on top, this is um, square cutout of noise. This noise uh, background, I put it over the face. It's got um, opacity setting of twenty three percent with a blend mode on multiply, and the idea at least. This is Kennedy's shoulder and the flag. The idea, at least, is that um, the deep fake head playing on top of it has some of the actual video um, videos change in change in uh, lighting happening over it. Uh, I don't know how well it worked, but when you get all the layers together, to be fair. You and Andrew have a very high IQ with, you understand uh, Rick and Morty. What is it? I don't know second attempt. I'm, and without a I'm solid satisfied with it, but uh, most of the joke I want to try to push the tech further. So I'm definitely thinking of new ideas. Yeah, links to the actual deep fake um, tutorial. Tutorial, I say tutorial. Way better. It's a way better tutorial than I could do, and it's already been done. It worked for me, probably worked for you. I'm just showing you my process of taking that and trying to make it look as realistic as possible and blending it. And um, in the beginning of the presidential address, there's a span of silence, the seal, just like this, ended up for like way longer, like maybe 30, 45 seconds. So I just took that noise and repeated it over here so that you have constant background noise over the entire broadcast. And then um, since the uh, vocals are AI generated too, um, they have a tendency to switch fidelity and quality um, every few lines because the uh, AI that made the voices was getting a lot of different Kennedy recordings and you know different amounts of them had different levels of audio quality since they're so old and just to try to uh, blend those in what I did is I did a low pass and a bass boost generally all of them for some of them I did a tube model compressor effect and I used that to basically lower the quality of all of those uh, differences in audio sound. Here I can play you, show you. You have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of the theoretical physics, most of the jokes would go over a typical viewer's head. See, it wouldn't have been a big deal. They don't sound too different, but um, I wanted to be thorough, so I basically uh, brought them all down to the lowest common denominator of quality level, and I'm satisfied with the result. Lips don't quite match. I still got a long way to go, but uh, if anybody was interested, this is uh, how I did it. This is what the uh, project file looks like. Um, just a simple thing I did in Premiere. Took me about three hours. And 
That's all there is to it. Oh, and now the air conditioning decides to turn off. Okay. Anyway, that's how I did it. I uh, hope you enjoyed learning how I did it. Um, stay tuned for more uh, memes. Something, yeah. <laughs>